So for example, with the proof of stake, you can get a Raspberry Pi, which is about $35, hook it up, make a node, and basically start staking. If you have a few thousand coins, you get 5% a year, you get that back extremely fast. A NASIC miner can cost thousands of dollars, and you'll be holding to the cost of what you know, graphics cards are with NVIDIA. That's a big problem. So yes, proof of work has a cost structure. It's also very bad for the environment, right? I mean, you're spending a lot of energy on stuff that really at the end of the day, you don't really need. So I think that's why Ethereum is moving over to proof of stake. There's a reason why this is happening. It's because it's very energy efficient. So our blockchain is actually really, really young. We have about 364,000 transactions, but actually transactions excluding empty blocks is about 64,000. Our block time is about 60 minutes, and we'll probably expand it between 60, sorry, 60 seconds to two minutes so that we don't have any of these orphan blocks, which is very normal in the blockchain world for all those that know. We have about 27,000 addresses that are actually active. In fact, about 130,000 people participated in our token sale. It was 27,000 people that actually purchased. About 40-something percent of that was in Japan. About 20-something uh, percent was in Korea, and the rest was China, India, UK pretty much in that order. We did not uh, do anything to the US. We actually refunded the Americans that actually participated 